Uh, good evening. It's uh, January 30th. Uh, this is going to be... Uh, the, uh, these are donations for tomorrow, January 31st, for St. John the Baptist. This is fossil wood. 200 to 225 million years ago, a tree fell in a swamp and it got buried and then it resurfaced and it slowly turned to stone. And this here is it's a nice sample of it. Here is oral fossil and angel shale. Comes from the age of trilobites and ray lobed, ray, ray -lobed finned fish. It uh, must have been an interesting sea bottom when the little creatures that made these burrows were alive. Yep. Must have been an interesting sea bottom. We got one clam pearl. I have it in an oyster shell. And well taped over so that you can pick up the shell, look at it. But you can't really lose it. Here is seed fern fossil from the Carboniferous Permian period. Basically, think of it as plant or wood. That's what the bark, the bark of the tree. It's like looking down the trunk of a tree because the seed fern plants grew 30 feet tall to 100 feet tall. That's why it was called the uh, Carboniferous, per Carboniferous Permian Period Swamps. When dragonflies with two foot wingspans were chasing smaller insects and amphibians were chasing the dragonflies. That's a really nice sample of uh, Ligonopterus, L-Y-G-N-O-P-T-E-R-I-S, Ligonopterus fossil. But there were, there was a variety of seed ferns. Some were 30 feet tall and some were 100 feet tall. stone tool for shellfish, shellfish opener. If you steam boiled a hide bag or a clay, a clay pot of shellfish and you didn't want to burn your hands, you required a tool to open the shellfish. It's a uh, Basically, in that way, turn and finish up. You just finish opening up the steamy shellfish with stone tools, and that is a perfect example of what they would use. Just think of it as uh, shocking scallops. Anyone that's ever been on a fishing boat knows what knows what that knows how that's done. Hold the scallop in one hand and shove the little blade into in between the two halves and twist it and slice the muscle out, drop it in a container 
and throw the shell away. Uh, I've actually thrown the knife away a couple times. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Anyway, that was some years ago. But this is an, an authentic indigenous stone tool, or lithic stone tool. A lot of people wouldn't recognize little things like this. But uh, I, have, I had the opportunity, in, which I'm thankful for, to study this. And that is, that's my donations for January 31st. I think the kids will have a grand old time looking at these and, and maybe learning a little bit about the world that was before them and the world that they live in now. I will see you online.